Jesus. Mighty God, lift you up today. We honor you today, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the reading of your word, for the manifestation of scripture, for the deliverer of your deliverance, God. Hallelujah. We worship you today. Oh, we honor you. Oh, we honor you. Oh, we adore you. Oh, we lift you up. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for your word. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. As we continue, Lord God Almighty, King of kings and Lord of lords, on the subject of DNA or identity, we thank you, Father, for what you're about to teach us, for what you're about to reveal once again. We honor you. We adore you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 We're still on identity, DNA theft by the enemy. We're going to pray on it. This is more prayer today than teaching because your identity needs to be restored. In order for you to fully operate, you gotta go back to original to know who you are, to fully comprehend who you are. Then you are able to operate in that which you are, what God says that you are. We're gonna read from book of Matthew chapter four. Hallelujah. Then the devil take him up unto the holy city and set at him on the pinnacle of the temple and said unto him if thou be the son of god cast thyself down for it is written he shall give his angels charge concerning thee and in their hands they shall bear thee up lest at any time thou thou at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone thank you jesus we see here that the enemy is very cunning is, is bringing a lot of confusion to our Lord Jesus, which he continues to bring to us too. He's trying to twist the scripture here. He's saying he's first taking him to a place he's going to identify with, uh, to the holy city, so that, you know, if it was someone today who's not fully in line or tuned in with the Spirit of God, they will automatically think when they are taken up to a place they are familiar with, maybe like a church or a place where they experience the good, and the enemy comes in to talk to them from that place, they will easily believe that God talking to them. But we thank God here because we see that Jesus is very much alert that he knows that that's not the voice of God talking him even though he's in the right place even though he is taken up to the holy city at the pinnacle of the mountain being told to actually commit suicide so you gotta put these things together even if it seems like you are at a place where God usually takes you which is maybe the church or something it seems right it feels right because it's a holy place this is where God wants you to be but it means that the enemy can actually visit the church as well and talk to the people of God in the church. So you gotta know your word. What is God saying about what is being whispered in your ear? So here we hear, you see that he's being told, hallelujah, to, to throw himself down to commit suicide. So there's no way God will tell his own to commit suicide when he's totally against suicide. 
He says we shouldn't kill ourselves because killing ourselves is one of the things, is one of the, the, the sins that are unforgivable. So there's no way the same God who tells us in his word to not commit suicide because it will rob us of our eternal destiny. The same God will tell us to commit suicide because we are at a, pla at a, at a holy place. So what you have to, to, to know when the enemy or when, when you hear the voice that sounds like the voice of God, you got to search the scripture thoroughly here because he, he goes on to say, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down and kill yourself. And he's actually even quoting the scripture saying, he's actually even quoting the scripture and saying he will give his angels charge over thee. Yes, there is an element of truth in that scripture that he will give his angels charge over thee. But then he's quoting it incorrectly. He's quoting it wrong. Because at the beginning of Psalms 91, where that scripture is clearly stated that he will give his angels charge, charge over us and over our Lord Jesus. It, it, it starts with the one who dwells in the sacred place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. So it's not talking, it's not, it's not saying just throw yourself down um, and God will give his angels charge over you to look after you in all, in all the things that you do. He's, he, 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 there's, there's a discrepancy of scripture there. The scripture is very out of order according to how the enemy is quoting it to our Lord Jesus here. Because what you, 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 you hear there, you see there, he's saying, he's saying, throw yourself down. But then he says in, in Psalms 91, the way that he's not quoting the whole scripture, the way it is clearly uh, quoted in the book of Psalms 91, that protection scripture. He says, the one who dwells in the secret place of the most high of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the almighty hallelujah you say of the Lord he is his refuge he said for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways so you can't just you, you can't suddenly throw yourself down or allow the enemy to call the scripture to you that doesn't actually line up because there's a, there's a discrepancy in that scripture. Yes, he's quoting the scripture. It seems like the scripture is correct. Yes, it sounds correct. But there's a, there's a, there's a, um, a condition with that scripture. He says, the one who dwelt in the secret place of the Most High God. But Christ there was not dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. But he was being tempted by the enemy to throw himself down so that he will test the Lord. But he had an answer there. Thank you, God, that he had an answer. He said, because it is written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Like I said that when someone is telling you to, to commit suicide, he's trying to rob you of your eternal destiny. Because when you're being uh, when you're being told to commit to, to commit suicide, or when some of you have those kind of suicidal thoughts, they don't come from God. It, it doesn't matter how hard life is. God will not tell you to commit suicide, something that is contrary to his word. So when if you hear that you should commit you should end it all you know that's not God it doesn't matter even if you're in the church it doesn't matter even if you, you in the house where everybody is praying the enemy can still whisper in your ears so we hear we see that there's a suicide and, and that is being imposed into our Lord Jesus which continues to happen with with our people even today and we also see that there's a dis, there's a disobedience that's being um, you know impose into him for him to obey to disobey God in, in doing what is contrary to what he says in the scripture he also he's also twisting the scripture making it sound like it's God but it's not God because he's in the right place Jesus is gonna identify with so we're gonna pray and break this spirit so that we will claim our identity like I said that uh, um, we see yeah uh, the, the identity is being uh, challenged or is being attacked Jesus Christ's uh, uh, identity is being attacked here. So, um, so it, it, like I said, I always say that uh, uh, DNA or identity is everything. So when we don't know who we are, when we don't know where we originate from, when we don't know where we even where we are even going, we will not make it. We will not get to the place where we ought to be, where we need to be in relation to finally completing our eternal our our place where we are going according to the Lord. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Father, for the reading of your word. We thank you, Father. We pray, Father God, today as you have spoken to us um, through your word, Father, that Lord, you will, Lord, and Enlighten us, oh Father, 
in this area of identity in this area of our spiritual dna in you father that lord we will no longer be lost oh father we touch on the three things father god in the last couple of days on the three uh, things our lord jesus has been attempted to do to 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 disobey you by going against the fast fast you are supposed to be doing for 40 days and he also is being a uh, uh, um I challenged in the area of um, worshiping idols, of, of getting the wealth of the world instead of getting it from you. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we present this to you even today, Father. That Lord, we will not, we will know your voice, O oh God, for the voice and for the voice of the stranger, we will not follow. So, we ask you, Father, by the power of your spirit, by your grace, by your by your anointing, Father, that Lord, you will set us free from this mindset, from this, uh, from this hallelujah stupidity from this uh, mindset of not knowing who we are father god in you help us to find ourselves in you help us to know who we are help us to fully understand and fully understand who we are in you god so that we will indeed comply with your word we will recognize the voice that is that that does not come from you god and lord in the name of jesus we call upon your name father god so that we will recognize when our identity is being stolen when our identity is being charged when our identity is being uh, is at stake is, is under attack help us to know father god by us by when we begin to see that we try to go back to the place where we came from because we feel like god is taking too long we ask you father in the name of jesus that father we will always know that lord you are there for us and your timing is perfect so father in the name of jesus we also call upon your name at this hour father god that lord that lord we will not be robbed of our eternal destiny of our eternal destiny we will not allow the enemy to whisper the things that are contrary to your word because it sounds like your word we will not allow that father so father in the name of jesus i pray for that your people will get it that lord they are indeed the sons of god when they know that they are sons of god and the daughters of god they will be able to walk in line with your word they'll be able to walk in line with their the eternal destiny and purpose in the name of jesus so father we ask you for restoration of our mentality of our mindset that comes from you let that mind that was in christ jesus be in us oh god in the name of jesus so that we will not walk go astray and and look for things that are supposed to be pleasing to us from other places that are supposed to be coming from you god to be looking for for those things from other places help us to know that they come from you and from you alone we pray father in the name of jesus father we give you thanks we give you glory and we give you honor today in the name of jesus i pray that your people will have their identity fully restored from today in jesus name we pray amen